So this was practically everything that was on my wish list is what I ended up buying. So hmm. I declare bankruptcy. Hey guys, what is going on and welcome to my channel. So happy 2019. I cannot believe this is the first video of the year for me. I did take some time off. I was just getting my shit together. As you can see, I got a new camera, a new mic and everything. Uh, changed my hair color, which I do almost every other week. So that's nothing new. So for the title of the video, I will be talking about a mini haul that I got from US. So firstly, I want to talk about how I got about getting these products from US. It is one of my friends and shout out to him. He was traveling to the States for like for two weeks for work purposes. And unfortunately for him, he asked me if I wanted something. Okay, now usually I hate, hate asking people. I never do that. A lot of my friends are in the States, but I never ever ask them to get me anything. But this time, I don't know, it was during the Black Friday time. My head just went a little cuckoo and I ended up ordering a lot of stuff, which I'm gonna come to right now. So sadly for him, he got me everything. So I think the royalty of this video, which is zero rupees, goes to him. So what I did is I just picked out products basically that has been like the best seller or holy grails or I did a little bit of a research on what to get, what not to get. Also, I will be incorporating a lot of these products in the future videos. So there will be a lot of content coming your way. So do not forget to subscribe to my channel. So last year back in Feb, I did travel to US and I did pick out a lot of stuff, but those were like a little bit here and there. Like I got a lot of uh, a bit of Michael Kors, Coach, then some makeup stuff, then some skincare stuff, some bath and body works, a little bit of blush and everything. So for this haul, I was mostly targeting, like I said before, on makeup and skincare, but all in all, I was only looking for products that are suitable for oily skin. So let's start off with the skincare. For the skincare, I got from The Ordinary four different um, products. The first one is The Ordinary Buffet, then the Salicylic Acid 2% and the Niacinamide 10% as well as the Alpha Arbutin and uh, 2% plus HA, whatever. So these are the four things that I got. So before I got these four products from The Ordinary, I picked out uh, the peeling solution, the AHA 30% and BHA 2% from The Ordinary. I picked this out from a seller on Instagram and I really, really liked it. It's a chemical peeling kind of a solution. So I loved it. I really wanted to delve more into The Ordinary products and I got these four. That is the first skincare stuff that I got so I picked these out directly from the website had it shipped it did take quite some time and thank god my friend was there for two weeks so within that time it came through so next let's talk about the tools that I picked out now I'm excited about that one and I went a little overboard with it so the next item that I picked out was the Juno and Co sponge and uh, I didn't pick out one I didn't pick out two not three but four sponges and it was a deal that they were selling for the black friday or cyber monday deals some one thing one of those things and uh, it came along with the clean up your act cl solid cleansing bar so it came with this so all these five products together was like 22 dollars and that was a good deal i just dropped it so these items is what i picked out so now we're gonna jump into the makeup product. Now I wanted a product which was unfortunately available but by the time I clicked on checkout and paid for it, it was out of stock. And that is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Now I really wanted that because that is like a holy grail for a lot of oily skin girls out there. So I really wanted to test it out and see how it was and I was not planning to get a, the full size. I was just planning to get the mini one which I'm okay with, but that was out of stock. So the next best thing was the Smashbox uh, Photo Finish Minimize Pores Primer. Now this is again extremely good for oily skin and for the pore and everything. So I got the mini one, the small teeny tiny one. So that is the primer part of it. So the next product that I am super duper happy about picking up is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Ride or Die Brow Duo. Now this is an amazing deal because I got a full size of both these products for like $25. 
and if you buy it individually it comes to $43 so I got in the shade dark brown and uh, I don't know if you have seen my earlier videos I swear by the Dipro pomade which I got from beautybay.com or .co.uk whatever from Beauty Bay so I got it from Beauty Bay and I love the Dibra pomade I have been using it it is in a very bad condition this is again in the shade dark brown and this is how mine looks right now and this lasts for ages like even though this is pricey I wouldn't mind buying it again because this has lasted almost like a year or year and a half for me and it has not even hit pan so amazing so with this uh, brow duo I got is the brow wiz which is in dark brown and a clear brow gel which I have been dying to use for a very long time because I do not use any brow gel and uh, I just wanted to see how it is so this is one of the products I mean I love all of them but this is like a little bit higher that I'm excited about so what else do we have eyeshadow so next we're gonna move on to the eyeshadow so I just got one eyeshadow palette and that is the Huda Beauty Color Obsession palette now this is such a teeny tiny beautiful color scheme now the reason why I picked this out even though it is available in uh, India uh, I think they retail for like $27 the Obsession line of Huda Beauty eyeshadows but this was basically available for like $19 which was a good deal and uh, I picked it out because I have never used any of the Huda Beauty products so I was like why not so this is the one eyeshadow that I picked out now moving on to the face I'm super excited about the face moving to the foundation which I'm extremely super duper happy about and I finally finally got my hands on the Fenty Beauty foundation now, like I said before, I was looking into products that is amazing for oily skin people because I am an extreme grease ball. So I was looking into this, but the biggest struggle for me was the shade match. Now, I was so much in like going back and forth as to which color I should go for because this also oxidizes. So I was not so sure which one I should be going for. And finally, I picked out shade number 300. Now, I would highly suggest if you're looking into buying any foundation, go to this website called Foundation, like Foundation, like Foundation. You can just enter whatever shade that you are right now with your existing foundations that you have, and it will give out a list of other foundation which will match your skin tone. That site was extremely helpful, as well as YouTube. I watched a bajillion number of videos just to figure out what shade I could be. So I was going back and forth with 290 or 300 or 310. 310 later on I was like nah it will be too, a bit too dark for me and also if it oxidizes it will be much more darker. But I was not so sure between 290 or 300 and I finally zeroed down to 300 and I freaking love it. The Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. Now I just call this as Fenty Beauty Foundation or just Fenty Foundation or Rihanna's Foundation. I don't even remember the name of it, the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. Everybody knows it, so just saying. Okay, so the next product that I picked out is the Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier. Why did I forget pronouncing this? I think it's a Mercier. No. So the next product that I picked out is the Laura Mercier setting powder. Now this is a translucent powder that I picked up and I have got the mini version of it and I love it because this is yet again another holy grail for a lot of YouTubers. So I was like, I want to see what this is because for oily skin people this is amazing, for dry skin people this is amazing. So the next product that I have is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Now I already have this I love it and this is one of the best setting spray ever So mine is almost getting over like last time when I went to US I picked this from Sephora again It is a travel duo, but I didn't want the primer thing the quick fix primer whatever it's called priming spray Yeah, so this is almost full. I've hardly used this one, but I really wanted was this one so this is so teeny tiny and it's almost getting over so I thought okay why not 
pick up another one because this is not available in India again so yeah I picked this one out this is again not the full version of it this is just 30 ml of it and yeah I love it it's kind of boring but I just got it now I'm going to talk about the extras that I got because Sephora if you have used the US Sephora which is an amazing option that they have is the point system that is like if you know you have a, when you buy things you accumulate a bunch of points and with the points I got one item which I'm super happy about and that is the Tatcha water cream it is so tiny it is like 5 ml but it still looks so good and I'm like what the hell like look inside it's like purple it's cute see how tiny this is it's like a baby so this is a Tatcha the water cream that's what it's called Tatcha the water cream so I picked this out it smells like spa I can just keep smelling this all day long so this is a pore perfecting Japanese wild rose for normal to oily skin so I had a few points accu accu accumulated on uh, Sephora so I thought why the hell not this is available so I picked out before it went out of stock so this is the other item I picked out some more from Sephora that is the doctor brand no more baggage mini and the origins energy boosting gel moisturizer so I have used another one which is the vitamin C serum and uh, this was available for like samples so I picked these two out so many other samples and I got the living proof uh, perfect hair day shampoo conditioner I picked these out as well um, I got some uh, makeup forever small teeny tiny samples of a few shades so I got this but trust me I really really love that they give such an option that when you accumulate points you get some of these things and you also have free samples whenever you buy anything from Sephora so I love that option because you know that way I can test and see if it's good or not but unfortunately I don't think the same mechanism uh, the same option kind of works in the India Sephora I really wish they do then I got some Shido Shido Shishido Shishido <laughs> I'm pronouncing this wrong for sure some some cream some wrinkle resist sign or anti I don't know some eye cream forget about it that's boring now yeah the exciting thing that I got is during the month of November they had this Tatcha the silk canvas seven day challenge so what they did is they gave like seven teeny tiny samples of this Tatcha silk canvas and it is an amazing primer I've heard so many people raving about it it is shit expensive like this full tube there's no mini size the full one itself is like worth $52 $52 it's a lot of money so I got this uh, for the seven day challenge thing so I got these and uh, I haven't tried them I think only once I've tried it uh, loved it so yeah oh I got the Giorgio Armani luminous Silk foundation now I got the foundation which is amazing but I don't know what shade this is in it doesn't say anything so I never realized I got this as well so I got this so yeah these are all the products that I had got I really hope I'm not missing out on anything so that is it for today's video you guys this is all the product that I have picked up I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it so do not forget to subscribe to my channel click on the like button as well as comment down below if you have any questions I'll reply back to you as well as do not forget to follow me on my socials which is it's Nishanayar on Instagram and it's Nishanayar on Twitter as well so until the next time take care bye ride or die bro duo brow duo why did I say bro deal I just dropped it I don't know